I just don't think they fill my needs with all of the different type of products that are out there and that I need for my hair. I don't think they have like organic ethnic products and stuff like that yet yeah, natural and not so harsh on your hair or skin. I mean, I guess eventually you would like to see almost just as many natural products as there are the other. I don't expect that I'm going to find natural hair care products. Not only am I not going to find anything that is natural, I'm probably not going to find anything that actually works on very dry skin and they really don't pay attention to whether it's good for you or not. Like if I'm literally going there like for the edge control or like some shampoo or something and they don't have it, I won't even like browse to look at anything else. I'll just leave. Kind of like they have like a natural aisle because it's smart to do so, <laughs> you know, because there is a market for it. But I don't feel like it's like a core value of the company and the store. I mean, it only fills this one shelf. They can have five different kinds, versions of head and shoulders. Surely we can <laughs> kind of step up this display. They don't value you and your hair care needs. Believe it or not, natural is really one of those highlights for me. If I can find a natural product, mm -hmm. um, I'm probably going give to it a, give it a go. Just because I have different hair types, why should I have to like search for a product? Do you see where it is? Specialty. And I understand, like, it's of a special nature, I guess. It's off in the corner, as usual. No, it's not weird to me now because I've been doing it for so long. I mean, I used to be offended by it. Part of me, like, isn't this just all still hair products? Why do I have to go over here to buy what I need and here over here? When my mom would let me come and pick what I wanted to use and, and I'd come to this section for some reason, my mom would always say, no, that's not your type of hair. I've always known that that's kind of there and I don't really scan it. I feel like it's segregated. Do they not support the African-American hair care products? Is it that why it's only one aisle to itself and then everything is here? I don't know. A woman should be able to walk into a, pro a store, be it cosmetics or hair products, and feel beautiful. You do feel different, even though your mother may try to do everything she can to not make you feel different. She wouldn't even let me have Barbies because she didn't want me to think blonde was beautiful. And sometimes I think when you segregate it, you feel, then you feel different, you feel isolated. You question your beauty sometimes. Segregation is like you're separating, you know, people from each other when we're supposed to actually get close to each other and, you know, just be together. So I think if they just mix all the products together, we're all, we, we ought to bump into everybody. When you buy the product, it doesn't know if you're white, black, Mexican, it doesn't know. Yeah, there's some overlap. I mean, there's definitely a, <laughs> a both section in the Venn diagram. Uh -huh. <laughs> the curly hair is for anyone with curly hair. All this would be integrated, this whole aisle. Yeah, like all of it's grouped together, Vaseline, but then like I mentioned, they have the equate next to it. Vaseline, but they have the equate. Things are together, opposed to the ethnic care product, are still scattered. Why? It's like lotion. Lotion is not separate, it's just lotion. I feel like cultural values are shifting. That will be like the path to follow. We're all using each other's style. It's not one style, it's just a human style. I mean, we don't separate um, meat and we don't put, you know, ethnic meat versus American meat. It's, it's just meat. I think our hair and our hair lines, our hair care products should be the same. One day, all hair care will be the same. <laughs> It'll all just kind of just be hair care. It's, it's hair products. That's all it is. It's just hair products. You just want to use it and put it in your hair. How else can I thank them and how else can I show them appreciation and how else can I formulate a change for other stores to follow? if I don't give my business to the company that actually did all the changes. Any regular person just come in here and say, oh, well, I need something for my hair. And they pick up, you know, hair mandates, and then they can look at it and say, okay, it was organic, you know, has extra um, virgin olive oil in it. Everybody knows olive oil makes your hair soft. So I think if they had it just mixed in, everybody will know about it. Like I said, I think it would be like a recognition of an issue, trying to make every customer feel important and validated and appreciative of their business. Then they go into the store and they say, oh, well, where is the specialty section? Oh, because it doesn't exist. It's everywhere. No, it wouldn't make a difference to me. Being together is convenient and I'm probably more likely to try new products. 
probably would be like introduced to like a product that would work perfectly well for you um, that you just weren't aware of. It would be like you understand the diversity, you understand the need to have us all feel the same. So I think we're headed in the right direction. I think give it a couple of more years, everything will be mixed in together.